Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. Way harder. All right. So you guys have been doing a hoobud a lot tonight, and we want to take a look at your quadrants, okay? So when he hits down, right, whoa, here. Now, this is a real natural reaction. When you're doing hoobud, a lot of people miss that this is the type of strike that comes in so much advice. Come, come in at me here, go bam, and somebody's slamming down on this, right? Just beating down with somebody, just a bottom of the strike. It's a very common action, okay? Uh, you look at it, a straight line punch, you know, there's a lot of hooking actions and a lot of just pounding actions happen in a real fight. Hubud really addresses that nicely. When it comes in, we're here now, of course, we're not looking at stopping this in Hubud. We're looking at this as being a me point, and the exercise you're going here, then you're going off to other things. Hit down again, right? Our base Hubud is here, okay? We're catching here, and that's to redirect. But if I redirect a whole bunch in the drill, right, and move where I would like to move somewhere similar to where I want to go, then it opens him up, but it really messes up our drill, right? So, this is part of why we're hitting, or rather we're staying right here, centered pretty much, not necessarily moving a whole lot on that basic hoobud action. Make sense to everybody? Okay, so, please yes, sir. Here, at this point, we're looking at quadrants, okay? And I've talked about this a little bit in the past, and you may remember this, but you have four, there you go. You have your lower left, which is what we're really dealing with most of the time in our basic hoobud action. If you're switching the basic switch, then, you're hitting the lower right quadrant, right? If you look at this quadrant, let's see, that's pretty easy. See here, just imagine this hand going out here, going all the way across, creating, if you will, a plus sign here, right? So I've got upper left quadrant, lower left quadrant, lower right quadrant, upper right quadrant, okay? So we're meeting here, we're generally dealing with lower left, lower right quadrants, okay? What I want to play with right now is meeting this, redirecting it slightly, and playing with our upper right quadrant. So he hits down, and I'm boom, here, okay? And what I'm looking at is I'm looking at meeting this and redirecting slightly here. I don't even hit, he's slamming out with a lot of power, a lot of energy. I'm a lot smaller than he is, and crash, I still get crashed into, right? Well, I don't want to stop this. I'm not trying to meet muscle with muscle. It's not stop this. It's meet this and redirect it slightly. And I'm going to help the redirection with this hand, hitting the upper right hand quadrant, there, okay? So when he hits down, I'm, whoa, here, okay? And all I'm doing is meeting that hand, redirecting here, helping redirect this way a little bit, meeting it, redirecting it slightly here, helping to redirect it here. As I shoot this hand around, maybe catching her arm lock here, I might be catching, right? Catch the elbow, potentially, right? And shooting in. So it's one, two, three. Okay, now notice that I did, please again, I did meet it here, and I did meet the upper right hand quadrant and shoot the sand in also. Okay. Oh, <laughs>